Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the shear wall. First of all, I will define the shear wall and then we'll explain the different properties of a shear wall. That why we use and why we design the shear wall for special type of the structures. So to define the shear wall, So this is the short and simple definition of the shear wall which states that the shear wall is a structural member used to resist the lateral forces. So what are these lateral forces? The lateral forces are mainly is the wind forces, the wind load and the earthquake load are the seismic load. Wind load and the seismic load. So those, those structures which are mostly prone to the earthquake or the wind loads they are mostly designed with the shear walls so it shows that the main purpose of the shear wall is to resist the horizontal forces like the wind loads and the seismic load for example if I consider this is the building and this is in the building part I just took the one part of the building and there are different loads acting on this building like this is the uh, downward load acting on the building of the uh, some some people loads are the self weight of the structure so this self load will try to bend this slab in this direction similarly the loads which act literally which lift horizontally on this part of the building will try to make this uh, this wall uh, to deform in the in the backlink shape so what we do we have to stiffen this part of the building because of these little forces and these little forces, horizontal loads may be due to the wind load or maybe to the seismic load. These are the two most common horizontal loads acting on this type of the building. So to resist these what horizontal loads, little forces, what we do, we provide the shear wall, which is the RCC shear wall, reinforcement concrete, and it increases the little stiffness of this building by providing the wall of the R reinforcement. It increases the little stiffness of the building, and it, the building will now behave. Uh, more strong in the little direction to resist these loads and to take these little forces. Now I will also discuss some uh, important um, uh, characteristics of this, this shear wall. So one of the important points about the shear wall is the, the shape and the plan position of the shear wall influences the behavior of the structure. So we should provide the right geometry of the shear wall and the right position of, uh, of the shear wall in our structure. Mostly the shear walls are provided um, in the center of the building because they provide the high lateral resistance to the forces. So we should must be careful while designing the shear wall that where is the shape, that what is the shape and where is the position of the shear wall in our structure because it influences the behavior of the structure. It has been found from the research that if you provide the shear wall uh, in a wrong place it will not help to increase the stiffness of the building so it means it influences the behavior of the structure it means that the strength and stiffness of the building depends on the position of your shear wall strength and stiffness so it's very important to uh, provide the uh, to provide the optimized shape of the shear wall and the right position of the shear wall in your structure so that it increases your stiffness and strength of the building otherwise uh, uh, otherwise you will not get your stiffness uh, you will not increase your stiffness of the building if you provide the shear wall in the wrong place uh, not in a optimized shape now the next important point about the shear wall is that the shear walls are very important in the high-rise buildings subjected to the lateral loads. So mainly if you increase the, uh, the height of the building, uh, the, your building is more subjected to the lateral loads because if you're increasing the height of the building, the more the wind load acts on your building. So that's why shear walls are very important to provide in case of the very high-rise buildings because if you're increasing the height of the building, like in this case, this building with more number of stories so your wind load will also increase in this building is a wind load so the more wind load will act on this building 
So if we're increasing the height of the building, the load will be increasing in this way. So that's why it's good to design the shear wall for the high-rise building. So the important and last point about the shear wall is that the properly designed and detailed buildings with the shear walls have shown very good performance in the past earthquakes. So it has been found from the research that the buildings with the uh, good design of the shear walls have always shown the good performance to resist the earthquake loads, to resist the little forces. So it should be kept in mind that the high rise building, the most uh, the buildings with the earthquake prone region should always be designed with the shear walls so that they perform well for resistance of the little forces. So this was all about the shear walls. The, the main purpose of the shear wall is to resist the little forces, to take the little loads and to transfer the little loads uh, to the foundation. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.